marketer number one. He's the nation's diplomat number one. In terms of uh, projecting Kenya's uh, position and uh, Kenya's strategic um, position in the geopolitical uh, aspects in the region, the president is always our diplomat number one. So as a nation, we expect the president to be the person who is best positioned to articulate and articulate issues concerning Kenya and Kenya's interests uh, in, the, in, the, in the international community and to be the one who is best positioned to be able to be our marketer number one. That's right. So that whoever sees the president out there sees the image of Kenya. Yes. And as Prof has rightly said, whenever an, a president of any nation, live alone Africa, just any nation, is invite, gets an official invite to the, to the White House. Remember, the United States is the world's largest economy and uh, superpower. And so there is that of perception and the implications on many other aspects of, um, of, 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 of the nation, the economy, the social, uh, the social and the political aspects. So there, there's always that, the, the benefits that come with the perception that it generates. One, it generates the perception that Kenya is, um, is very strategic. If it is very strategic for the U.S., then other nations definitely must begin to view Kenya dif differently, regardless of its domestic challenges. Yes.